let's talk about the different stages of human decomposition. Welcome to Death Science. Okay, this is cadaver 138, a good example of stage one, autolysis, and stage two, bloat. Stage one, autolysis, occurs immediately at death after the heart stops and breathing stops. Since carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and other gases in the deceased are trapped inside the body, it creates an acidic environment which breaks down cells and releases enzymes. This all kicks off the decomposition process, generally within the first three days. Stage two, bloat, or you could also call it early decay. Hungry bacteria, microbes, and enzymes create gases. The buildup of gases in the body make it bloat and expand to like twice its size sometimes. Those gases contain sulfur, which contribute to skin discoloration. And this putrefaction begins to produce some really awful smells. This stage is generally between two to three days after death. Stage three, active decay. Expect the soft tissue, organs, muscles, and the skin to liquefy. Once liquids begin to leak out the orifices, this generally indicates active decay. Most of the body's mass is lost at this stage. Depending on the season, you'll notice flies and beetles eat the soft remains, moth larvae and mites eat the hair, and the environment may also allow for additional hungry critters like scavengers or unfed pets. Stage four, advanced decay. At this stage, really the only thing that's left is generally some hair, maybe some cartilage, ligaments, residues, and bones. And finally, stage five, skeletonization. This is the final stage of decomposition, and it's pretty much when the only thing that's left are the bones. Or in some instances, when it's a very dry environment, it's when the body is fully mummified. Understand the environments play an essential factor on decomposition and rates of decay. Now, if you want to support death science and get some secret behind the scenes looks, you can join us on Patreon at www.deathscience.vip.